and a warm welcome to the English Language Laboratories Word of the Day series, by Tells Vichineri. In this series, we pick a new English word every day, provide the correct spelling of the word telling you how many alphabets make up the word, find which part of speech the word falls into, explain its meaning, look for any similar words where possible and finally explore how it could be used in a sentence. Do you have a word collection? How many words have you collected? Are you having difficulties understanding English words? Confused about how to use words in a sentence? Or do you just want to refresh your English vocabulary? Then join us and learn in a fun and easy way. Like and share this video, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you receive similar videos every day. We'd love to hear from you, so make sure you leave a comment after every video. All comments are welcome. Now let's dive into the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to Tells Vichineri. Today August 31st, our word of the day is punchung. P-E-N-C-H-A-N-T. Punchung. Punchung is an eight-letter word and a noun. Remember a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. A punchung is a strong preference or tendency. In other words, a liking for something or a habit of doing something. If you have a punchung for pizza, you either eat it daily or wish you did. Similar words include affection, affinity, preference, taste, savor, relish, tang, predilection. Examples of sentences using punchung are Crosby had a punchung for leaping at her whenever she went by with the breakfast tray. Marge has a punchung for adopting stray dogs. Her punchung for disappearing for days at a time worries her family. Garris had a punchung for loudly announcing the obvious. I love you guys, even despite your punchung for inferior pizza. Ridgeway's punching for violence and odd fixations had made it hard to find men willing to ride with him. Make sure to save this new word, punchung, so you can practice using it in your everyday sentences. That's all for today, thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you learnt something new. Don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you receive similar videos every day. Have a fulfilling day. See you tomorrow. Cheers.